it's Trish here from the MTech team and I was asked to film a tutorial on how do students log into the Google Classroom when they're at home. So we're about to get started. So the first step is the teacher has invited the student to the classroom. They can do that uh, via a class code that the students have typed in at school. They can also invite the students via their email address. And so I'm going to invite this student here, our demo student. What's going to happen is the student, when they're logged in um, at school, is going to be able to see the account very easily. But sometimes there's been some confusion about what they do when they go home. So let's take care of that and show you step by step what the students do when they get home. So the first thing is when the student goes home, they need to make sure that they've actually opened up a Chrome browser. Um, you don't want them to be using Internet Explorer or Firefox or anything like that for these purposes. And so what the student is going to do is up in the very top right hand side, beside the minimize button, they'll either see the name of their parent that's currently logged into the browser or they're going to see a little gray bobblehead, um, meaning that somebody needs to log in. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and I already have people logged in. Maybe this is a shared home computer and I'm going to say um, manage people. What I can do is I can then add a person and I can go ahead and I can add it as the name and I can say save. This just simply has added a person to the account. We need to make sure that we actually sign in and this is where the students are going to have to sign in with their Edmonton Catholic Schools email and password. Student says sign in. In the case of our students, it actually would be a seven digit school ID at school.ecsd.net. And it's very easy for them to get that seven digit ID from their classroom teacher. And that's what they also log in with at school. They would say next. And then they're going to use the exact same password that they use at school. So once the student has um, put in their email and their password, they're going to be asked, would they like to link their data? The answer is yes. This is going to give them all of their passwords, their bookmarks, and their extensions from Edmonton Catholic Schools. Once you link the data, it will take a couple of minutes just to load those extensions. I can see them loading up here in the top um, right hand corner. And once I've given that a minute just to load that profile, the really great thing is, is that your computer will actually now remember all of the different users that are on here. Chrome is set up to be able to manage multiple users. And you can do that by, again, clicking that ID in the top right hand corner and you can choose whatever person who's logged in needs to be there. Once the student is there, they visit classroom.google.com and everything will operate just as if they were in an ECSD classroom. They will see that class they've been invited to, they'll click join, and right away, they now have access as a student to the Google Classroom from anywhere. So now we know that the student is logged in and they're able to do their work from anywhere. If you're having problems logging in at home, always double check two big things. Are you using the Chrome browser? And secondly, Look up at the top. Do you see your student's ID, um, their email, their ECSD user ID up in the top? And another really good way to notice is just do you see these extensions that the student would be familiar with? Um, these are also tied to their ID, such as Read and Write for Google Chrome and, of course, the Classroom. So that's it. Quick and easy, able to log in anywhere, anytime. That's one of the beautiful things about Google Classroom is students have access to it anywhere. Now keep in mind, we're recommending that students only are logging into this account at home. We're not recommending that parents are actually logging in on behalf of the children to see inside the classroom. We actually have a parent invite email summary that that's to be used for just in honor of our RUA agreement. Um, I also have a follow-up video for this on how do you log in to the Google Classroom from anywhere using an iOS app. So thanks for watching and remember if you ever need any tutorial videos just let me know. Bye-bye.